What's going on guys? It's Asal and today we're going to be talking about something that's for the new players in Battlefield Hardline and this is going to be the ultimate beginner's guide to Battlefield Hardline. Now if you have played Battlefield games before you might actually still find this video useful because the class mechanics have changed a little bit from the traditional Battlefield style of games. So Battlefield Hardline is a cops and robbers arcade shooter from Visceral Games. This is their first Battlefield title and it definitely does stand apart from the other Battlefield games because it is a little different. This is more infantry focused unlike previous Battlefield titles where you had things like tanks and lots of armored vehicles and it was a more of a military focus. This is more of an urban cops and robbers theme and the shift has generally been to more of an infantry style of game. Now Battlefield Hardline isn't going to be for everybody because there are a lot of people out there who really loved the tank gameplay and held that very close to their hearts and that just isn't in Battlefield Hardline. Now there are some other people out there who kind of think they might like the game but they're not really sure they're kind of on the fence. One thing that you can do to try out the game is you can buy it on Origin and if you don't like the game you can return it for a full refund within 24 hours of the first time you play the game so that is another option for you. Now it is not to worry though because the core gameplay experience is still there. Battlefield Hardline is true to the previous Battlefield titles and just the franchise in general in the sense that the objective is still very important. The objectives are a little more infantry focused in Battlefield Hardline compared to other games but they definitely are still there and they definitely still are the key to every game type. Now some vehicles are in Battlefield Hardline they're just not necessarily armored and there is actually some vehicle game modes as well that being the hotwire game mode but again things aren't armored so you know you don't have lots of heavy hitting vehicles that you can't take out without an RPG or stinger. There still are things like RPGs and st stingers in the game but they are on map pickups which is a little bit different and everyone can't spawn with them. So when in doubt play the objective or PTO and that's just a little acronym that Battlefield players use. Now moving on let's talk about the Battlefield Hardline classes. Now as a new player I'm going to talk about the class that I recommend you play and this is the Operator class or the Assault class if you are more familiar with that term from previous titles. Now this is your Medic class and you can heal and revive other t you can actually revive yourself in addition to other teammates as well so this is really useful because everyone always wants health say you're in a firefight it's not very often you come out of a firefight with 100% health and people and yourself are always wanting health so this is a great way to get points and really help out your team now for the operator class you have assault rifles and carbines now these are all really well-rounded weapons generally they are often used by a lot of players and just in general they're kind of considered to be the good weapons whatever people consider a god gun in the game a lot of the time they come from the operator or the assault class so this is a great class to play in almost every game mode less so hotwire just because you don't really benefit from vehicles all that much and you can't really heal or revive people as much though you can throw like a health pack on the hood of the car that does work but in general I would recommend something like the mechanic class for hotwire but for the most part operator can be played across almost any game mode making it an ideal class for beginning players now next we're going to talk about the mechanic class now this is the vehicle class and you have things like grenade launchers, you can repair vehicles, and it's just kind of built for the game mode hotwire, which is very vehicle centric. Now, the weapons you have as the mechanic are the PDWs, and these are kind of like close quarter weapons. Generally, they have really good hip fire, you know, kind of like an Uzi, that kind of thing, if you're familiar with that from previous games. Uh, it's definitely a good class to play if you're going to be doing anything with a vehicle. You have being able to repair vehicles in Hotwire, it's like almost like the bread and butter of the gameplay. As well as grenade launchers, this is the only class that has a way to take out vehicles from range with like a launcher type weapon. So this class is going to be infinitely useful when you're playing games like Hotwire. And it is definitely a great class to play as a new player if you are playing the Hotwire game mode or anything where you are revolving around vehicles. Which you won't be doing too much in Battlefield Hardline unless you're playing like Conquest Large but specifically Hotwire, this is going to be a great class for. Now next up is the Enforcer class, previously known as the Support class, and this class has changed around quite a bit. Now you still resupply your teammates like you have in previous games, and you do still have a little bit of a heavier hitting weapon, but it's not in the traditional sense that you might think. Gone are the light machine guns from starts, you can pick them up on the map, but in general the weapons that you get as the Enforcer class are called battle rifles and shotguns. Now shotguns 
probably don't need too much of an explanation. You know, they're close quarters weapon, not good for range at all, but they kill in one shot at a close range and they spread out. I'm sure you've used shotguns in a first person shooter before, but the battle rifles are interesting. These are similar to assault rifles, same kind of style of play, but they hit a little bit harder and they have a little bit more recoil. So for example, I was using the Scar H quite a bit and the other weapons do, I believe, 33 damage and the Scar H does 43. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure those are the right numbers. In general, the Scar H and just the battle rifles in general do more damage, and it's a little bit hard to get used to, I found, because they do, they hit harder, but the recoil is very hard to control, and initially, I wasn't really enjoying this class, but once I kind of stuck it out and was just kind of practicing taming this recoil on these weapons, I was starting to really enjoy this class. And one more thing, you get the breaching charge, which is basically C4, and this is just so much fun, and almost makes the class worthwhile on its own. So this is a class that is great for almost any game mode. Now, finally, we have the professional class. This is the sniper class, plain and simple, with a bit of an emphasis on stealth. Now, you have access to two weapon classes with the professional kit. You have the sniper rifles, you know, like your bolt action sniper rifles, where you can snipe people across the map. Then you also have your semi-automatic weapons, like a designated marksmanship rifle or DMR. Now, basically, these, you, you know, they take like two shots to kill kind of thing. They're like a DMR, just like traditional Battlefield games, if you've used them before. I haven't had a lot of experience with them, though I have played around with the bolt action snipers, and they're quite fun. You know, in the professional class, you get perks like softer footsteps, you have quieter actions when opening doors. So essentially, you're a sniper, you're a sniper with stealth, you know, it kind of makes sense. It kind of fits the role. It's probably one of the harder classes to play, especially for a new player, just because the weapons are what you would call precision weapons. So they're not fully automatic. You need to be very accurate with them. And they're definitely not for new players. They're definitely not easy to use at all. So not recommended for new players, though definitely it is a very fun class to play once you get some experience in the game. So summing things up, the two classes that I would recommend the most for new players will be the operator class and the mechanic class. You can play the operator class for pretty much anything that is infantry focused, which really is any game mode except for Hotwire, and then I would recommend that you try out the mechanic class. Now, the operator class, you can heal people, it has really great weapons, that would probably be the class that I recommend the most out of all of these. Now, one thing to note is that in each class, the weapons are faction specific. Most of the weapons, at least, are faction specific, so you might not always be using the same weapon, you might have to switch back and forth between the faction weapons, which can be kind of weird as a new player because you just want to master one weapon. The one thing you can always do is you can just always switch to the one team if the teams aren't full if you want to stick to that one weapon. Now, now, if you've enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful, please do hit that like button. I always appreciate that so very much. And if you want to see more videos like this for more Battlefield content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So guys, that's all I have for you guys. This has been Asal, and I will see you guys next time.